Well, Chattanooga is no stranger to storms. And the anniversary of the April 27th tornadoes is approaching. And just six months ago, strong winds knocked over the historic Asajj orange tree at the courthouse. News Channel 9's Drew Balea has an update on what's been done to the fallen tree. For the better part of a century, a towering Osage orange tree provided shade for the Hamilton County Courthouse. And today, people were able to take home a piece of history. The first name is Stand up here and somebody, you need to give them. Jason Martin. One by one, each lot of wood is chopped off the list. I wanted to get a piece of this just for the history of it, have a piece of it in my house. Dozens of Chattanoogans signed up for the lottery at Moxon Bend, many with a special connection to the Osage Orange. This is just very unique, the history behind it. That tree is just part of our, our home, isn't it? Uh, we had a cousin that was married under it. Lucy Taylor and her husband got a piece for their son who does practical woodwork. I would love to take that huge piece that's the trunk because it, just by itself it tells so many stories. The orange tree was planted sometime in the 1800s and over the years hundreds of memorable moments took place underneath its far-reaching branches. There's a higher and better use for this, this wonderful wood other than taking it uh, to the wood recycling center and chipping it up into a zillion pieces. Arts and craft enthusiasts agree. I'm a pen turner and I make pens out of historic wood. Woods, uh, exotic woods. Rick Hinson wants to add to his collection. I thought the Osage Orange from the courthouse would be uh, unique to make uh, pens out of for gifts for folks. With each name called, a bundle of the community falls back into the hands of its residents. It's, it's always Chattanooga, and uh, I would like to have a little piece of Chattanooga. Three pieces have been set aside to make two benches and a podium. Now plans are in place to put those benches here where the tree once stood. In Chattanooga, Drew Balea, News Channel 9. The city has held free lotteries since 2006. They also gave out cedar and...